Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Tavia Talk. Yep. Tavia Talk. Baby Nasty. <laughs> We're here. We're here. We're queer. We're queer. Get used to it. One of us is. Yeah. Um, happy New Year. Wait, was it New Year when we did the last one? Yeah, it oh. was. It was just last week. We're we're on every week now. We are back in action. We have moved back to back um, my establishment. We're back last in week the... we went to the more modern, hip and trendy location. Now we're gonna be cozy with the fireplace. Now we're back in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Back Except in the burbs. We can't turn the fireplace on. Nope. I think we've told him. Yeah, Luke turned it off. He felt like it was too gas smelly. -y. Too gassy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tonight we're having dinner with the girls. We're making burritos. Talk about gassy. I mean, <laughs> what kind of? Um, I'm making burritos. Luke, what, Colin's just eating them. I mean, bean and duh. like a bean and cheese. Refried bur bean. Yeah. Or like black beans. No I refried. Love refried. Bean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gassy. We do black beans when it comes to like taco night, but refried beans when it comes to burritos, smothered burritos. That is smothered. Little lettuce. I think I got some tomatoes, some sour cream. <laughs> Green chili and all the good stuff. Anyway, so let me just fill you guys in a little bit on my current life. Uh, I think we told you, Sam. Oh, I feel like we're going to start talking shit about somebody. I feel like it's coming. I, I feel it. I'm excited. Who are we talking shit about? I also like your nail color. Did you Thank just get this you. done? What is Thank it, purple you. or blue? I can't it, you know, tell. It's supposed, it was supposed to be like a midnight bluish grayishness. And then my sweet little lady was like... You like this one. I said, yes, I do, actually. I like it. I do, too. It's very, it's very winter. Um, I'm not trying shit, Cozy. as we mentioned in our last... No, I want you to. <laughs> our last episode, Samantha's getting married. Oh. Who? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we also told her we talked shit about her, but she would have to actually watch our show. No, she did, definitely did not watch No, it. she would have said something. Mm-hmm. So I don't even remember what we said, but I'm sure it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't great. So anyway, she's getting married, and... um. I've purchased a few bridesmaids' dresses. How many? Well, okay, so really only two dress types, but I the first dress, I wasn't sure what size, so I ordered two of the same dress, just different sizes. So really two dresses, but really three. And um, the second one, Colin just got to see. The first one was like 100 yards too much of material, and I looked like I was pregnant <laughs> and hiding the nine-month bump. Um, go ahead, Colin. Go ahead and just give him like fit your it. wisdom. I like the dress. I think it looks really good on Tavia's body. It fits her very well. I think that it's uh, it's like it's not a beach dress. It's like you even had me feel it. it's like heavy. It's like it's a heavy like, fabric. Like I could wear that it's outside be and hundred degrees. My vagina will be sweaty. But I think that the tone is nice. The fit, the is color, nice. yeah. I think the color's nice. The fit's fine. I'm a little worried. Like, I like the way the, the little, like, swoopy thing over the shoulder. But I'm like, do I look matronly? Do I look like someone's well, curtains? Well, I mean, that's the role, right? You're the matron of honor. I'm not a matron of honor. Matron side. What is it? What are you? What's I'm just title? a bridesmaid. A matron's maid? I'm just a bridesmaid. Okay. Okay. Well. I think maybe you're only a matron when you're the, like, of honor. Like, you're not the you're not like the maid of honor. You're the matron of honor. So that's Randy. Is Randy a matron of honor? I don't really know who's the who's the best person? woman. What do they yeah, call? Yeah, who is the maid of honor? I don't know. I don't oh. know if it's even established. I think yeah, it's just kind I of am not loosey goosey. I'm not applying for that role. I actually <clears throat> think it's Sam Black. That's right. That's yep. right. Oh mm -hmm. God, we just gave the whole name out there. <laughs> it's fine. She's trying to, she's, she lives in Texas and she's got a plant business. Yep. Mobile. Check her out. Check what her is out. the name of it? I don't know. It's Austin but, Plants something. But it's also. She's trying to grow a business. So we're giving her free yeah, props. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not talking shit either. We like that one. Yeah. We, we like, like that, that, Sam. We like her. The other one's touch she, and go. She, we did some weird things in Mexico. Yeah. Not me. We got some like. We <laughs> Not me. We got some weird, <laughs> <laughs> We got some drugs off the streets in Mexico. Not me. <laughs> and I didn't know they were from Mexico. And they're... I don't understand. I must be the most observant human being in the whole time world. I saw the murder happen before the murderer even knew he was going to murder someone. That's how observant I am. Yeah. I watched her swindle some weird shit from some guy in a corner and then made us go to some other restaurant to wait for the pickup. 
and drop off. And then once, and then it was like, let's go. And you're just over How here. did I miss all of this? And then we're in the club and she's like, hey, do you want some of this? And I'm like, absolutely. I thought she brought it with her. Absolutely not. Little what, did I know. Butt? It was all, it was in the gutter. It was. And she just picked it up. It absolutely <laughs> transferred many hands before it got to her. So. Well, you didn't die. I'm glad I didn't die. But anyway, so that's her. She's, she's running great. the plant business. She's plant apparently business. the maid of honor. She's oh, she's also a matron because she's married, right? So that makes I her think a matron. Or matron is, that... is when you have the kids. I don't think that's true. I think it's true. No phone calls. This is my, I'm not. My my, it's, yeah. Do you feel it on under me? Who's letting it get me? You liked it? It's just a... Her phone's ringing and she likes the vibration. Because sitting on the hard chair and it's like. Okay, <laughs> we, were... <laughs> we were going somewhere with this. Bro, oh, I was oh, just the saying dress. the dress. Oh, okay, so <laughs> how long do you have to return it? I don't know, 45 days, 30 days. Oh, did you do your little smudgy thing today? I did I a little like smudge it. because I had to go show. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like it. <laughs> Yeah, is I it feel like, sparkle in it? I don't do you know. have like glitter? Did you go to the strippy? No, I actually noticed that today too. I think it does have like shimmer in it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, well, okay. How long do you have to return the dress? Because you know what, we can find another dress. You know this this wedding isn't for nine months, months. right? I think everybody's freaking out. Everybody's like, oh my god, we have to get everything done now. It's like nine months. Nine months. Here's the deal. Now, since you're not on the wedding text message. Thank God. Did somebody take me off? Because I'm like, I'm just, I'm, thank God I'm not on that anymore. I'm going to go ahead after this. I'm going to open it up and we're going to look at what everybody else bought. And then you can say to me, oh, let's try this one for your body. That's not going to happen is what I'm taking from this statement. No, no. I, I, I want your opinion. Oh, okay. They're all like, here's the deal. I have a beautiful body. It's got some beautiful lumps and bumps and curves to it. And Samantha wants us to wear silk or satin or something. And that is not good for any sort of <laughs> bump or lump or roll. Also, okay, so. Even the skinny bitches in this wedding are going to have a dimple, a dimple, a bump, a something. Okay, so uh, when I said that the fabric isn't beach wedding, but then what it's is like, what is beach? Because a satin dress, you're going to have, you're going to be sweating right through it. If I wore satin... It would be just dark. Oh, be, yeah. Oh my pits. God. Pit it out. Pits. It better be a low, a low one so that the pit juice can't touch it. Yeah. I don't so know. I that's don't know the what thing. Is what is a beach is. dress? Because, yeah, I don't know. Chiffon? What is chiffon? I think it's like whimsical. Oh. Tool? Tool. I need to be in a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go right. ahead and tell want, them how you feel about the shoes. I want everybody in tutus for my wedding. Like prima ballerinas, like yeah. straight out tutus. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cute. Like right? white tutus. Yes. <gasps> Not with a bodysuit, but more of like a loose fitting black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we not can hammer out the details, but I like the vibe, right? Yeah, let's hammer them out. All right, I'm gonna need a full body. I, makeover. We have way more than nine months to hammer those details out. Let me tell you that. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think about the shoes. I don't know if I want it on record. That's right, yeah, okay. you guys. So here's the thing. I he think... goes, what shoes are you going to wear it with? I go, the ones on my feet. These are the wedding shoes. She goes, he goes, oh. No, no, no. Okay. Oh. I like the height. It's a good height. Yeah, great. And it's a nice stable heel for everybody. It is a thick and chunky to go with my body. <laughs> but. Because this body is not held up by. And I also know, yeah, you don't want like a little toothache. No, 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 no. I'll be wobbling. <laughs> like a deer. <laughs> Um, the, so I get that the clear is very Kim K, very in, but I, it, my mind just goes to like stripper. Yeah. Like with the fish, I was telling Dave, with the, <laughs> the fish in the platform, you know what I'm talking Were about? Were there fish in the platform? Clap their heels. Oh, you're like. Yeah. It's like I'm like that's, Dorothy. That's and they always goes. make a noise and they like cross their legs like, boom, 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 <laughs> boom, 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 like that. Yeah. I swear to God, they probably. What's the last strip club you've been to? It's been a hot minute. I mean, before COVID, because I don't. Do they well, wear obviously. masks? No, I think during COVID they had like a uh, <laughs> a shower curtain around. No. Yeah, yeah. That's was yeah. it distorted or like clear? Was it I wavy? Know. I don't like, go very did they get often. texture? I don't even remember the last strip club I went to. I think it was like. I think mine was a, a long. It was a hot minute ago. Where here in Denver? 
Probably. I think we tried to go to one in Vegas and then somebody put the kibosh on it. Mm. Debbie Downer. Ikte. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I was like, well, this could have been a cool one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do. So I love strip clubs Get and out. especially Vegas strip clubs. I've told you about the time that we went to the strip club and my uncle bought me three lap dances in a row. And she was like, have I not told you this? No. Yeah, so I was like. How old are you? 19, maybe. He's 18? like, we're going to make sure you're, you're not gay. Watch. No, I wasn't out then. Oh. So we're at the strip club and my uncle buys me three da lap dances in a row in the private room in the back. So I don't know if I was supposed to do something with her or whatever. She was very cute. She smelled great. Her boobs were very nice. But she kept like. Did she smell like Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works? I don't know what it was, oh. but it was just, and her like skin that's... was just so soft when she was putting her boobs in my face. I liked that part, but she kept slapping her vagina, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, does that do something for anybody? And then she asked me, why aren't you getting hard? And I go, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gay. I mean, it was like 30 minutes in there. She asked you that? Maybe she felt bad about herself. She's like, am I not turning this guy on? Am I not oh, cute? You should She'd been probably like... turn it inward. Well, I had I hadn't come out. I can't be like I'm gay. You couldn't come out to her. It's in private. She'd probably sit down and want to talk to you about it and be like, "Let me just connect with you on a deeper I mean, level." I was enjoying the Boots. not so much the vagina slapping. <laughs> and she had a pierced hood. The key. Yeah, I don't know. That part wasn't great, but she smelled great. So it was an open vagina that you saw. Yeah, she like pulled her panties to the side and. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i'm like why would she pull him to the side and not just take him down like just be like peek like look at she was just, i just remember she was like on top of me like pulling him aside slap <laughs> i'm like okay is that what straight people do because you guys are kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> i yeah. can just imagine you being like okay i was like hmm interesting move did this just solidify your decisions? I mean, sure. That was, just freaked you out a little bit? I was a little overwhelmed because I was like, uh, I wasn't expecting it, so I wasn't like mentally prepared. And I was like 19 years old. Yeah, terrifying. I was just coming through, you know, figuring out my own sexuality at that point, I feel like, you know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was, was a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. I've had quite a few experiences in, in a strip club. Like that? Not with the vagina smack. No. Can that be in the title? Hashtag vagina smack. <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate. That's or probably not. not, but we'll get some clicks. But anyway, so yeah, so that was my uh, so craziest the, Vegas. The trip first strip club I ever went to was in San Francisco, and we were definitely not old enough to be there because it's seventeen. Yeah. Uh, or was it a no, no, it was a twenty-one and up because they were. Maybe I was twenty-one. At the strip club that I went to. Because the titty you, bars. You can't be 18 to go to a strip club. The titty bars are 18 and up, I think, because they don't serve booze. Because they can't with your fully nude. But no, no, the fully nude ones are 18 and up because you can't serve booze. But the titty bars, they serve booze, so you have to be 21. And they always keep their panties on. Yes. So, Except in the back room. Where so wait, why are the fully naked people, why can those people dance for the 18 year olds? Because uh, you're 18 and you can be. You're an ugly old adult at that point, but so you can't drink booze. So they're like, since you can't so you drink, can't be in a bar. Since you can't drink, I'll get, I'll show you my bits. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. I didn't make the rules, Tavia. Okay. I I don't know. Maybe we were allowed to be there. All I know is we had fake IDs when we went, so we weren't 21. Maybe we were 20. Maybe 19. Anyway, well, getting stuck in the weeds. Yeah. We are. So <laughs> we went to this strip club that I'm not kidding you is. It was the stage. There was one stage, and it was in the corner of the room. Okay. Where well, is this here? San oh, Francisco. San Francisco. Okay. No, no bigger than, like, where the TV is to, like, right here. Okay. Like, little. Yeah. She had, like, a little space to jiggle. Yeah. And then it was, like, like just, like, folding chairs, maybe? This sounds classy. Like How did she find this place? Like an audience. I don't know. And it was right next to a sex shop. So you could, like, go there and then go to the sex shop. Get your lube. Yeah. And she came out, and it was like, she got naked naked. So maybe it was just an 18 and older one, because she was naked naked. And she had lots of piercings, and they all, See, told you. all glowed in the dark. So her, her dingle dangle one was glowing and moving, and then her nipples were glowing and moving. I was like, I feel so icky. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, like, I like the strip club, but she was gross. Hmm. She was, was she not cute? 
there was nothing great mm. about the situation at hand. She was on a stage that's a two foot by four foot plank. Like, yeah. I think this was amateur hour. Oh. But she glowed in the dark. Have you ever been to the gay one in Denver? You have. You Boys told Town. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I we went. haven't been there together. No, is it still there? We should take a field trip. Yeah. Is it better now? Because No, I think it's worse. Oh. I remember going to the strip club with Spencer one time and he just does not tip the girls. I don't think he does it on purpose, but he's, <laughs> he's just cheap. And so, I don't know, he just kind of stands in the back and like lurks. I don't know if he thinks he's going to get in trouble from, I don't know. He's, he's just, just a very pervert awkward. in the yeah. corner. Yeah, and then apparently Janelle went last time and she kept making Spencer go to the ATM and pull out like hundreds of dollars at a time. She spent like a thousand dollars at the strip club. She was just throwing it at them and slapping their ass. And Spencer was like, don't do that. Don't do that, Janelle. I don't think you're, you're going to get kicked out. You're not supposed to touch them. They're like um, a rare animal at, and you don't touch. I like, do you know the, the tent trick? What? Is Where you fold the one into like a little tent and then you put it on the railing so then they come get it and then they come pay attention to you. With what? What do you mean with what? What are they picking up with? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Either their hand, their hand. Oh, I thought it was like a trick. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because, you know, Luke's no. been to a place where there was tricks. Right, yeah. Where they, like, stick the sucker in there and then put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no. But somebody smoked a cigar. Oh. And a banana. Mm -hmm. Ate a banana. Mm-hmm. Mm. Does it disintegrate? I don't know. After a while? I don't have a vagina. I don't know how it works. Well, you know, I want to go to one where they shoot a ping pong ball into a cup. <laughs> like beer balls. They have to have some serious Kegel strength. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Oh, God. <laughs> Nailed it. That's, that's the one I want to go Good to. Good job, Rebecca. Yeah. Point for Rebecca. Yeah. Oh, it could be like a whole night where they like compete. Oh, my Christ. Have mercy. What do you think her bachelorette party is going to be like? Uh, Samantha's? Oh, yeah. we talk a lot about her. I actually, let's <laughs> skip her. She doesn't even sponsor us or uh, support us or... I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. I just hope I don't get too drunk the first night and then I'm just... We're going to share a bed. I'm just completely... Right? Dead to the world for the next three days. Bed? Yeah. No, we're getting that room. Which one? The one with the bathroom. You're going to be the bitch in charge of that. I, well, I've already pre had a conversation with Samantha about it. And she's like, you better not be a spoiled brat on that. And we like had a full kind of an argument about it. So don't you worry. I'm laying the groundwork. And there's two beds? Princess is going to get it. Yeah. We might have to share the bathroom with people when they're getting ready. But oh, we get... no. We have pooping privileges. I don't get it. Pooping privileges of our bathroom to poop in. Oh, that's fine. But when they're getting ready. Cause they I can't be in our room if we're tired. I don't think there's four people, like four bathrooms that everybody can get ready in. So we might have to share that a little bit, but we're going to get our own beds, our own room. And we can shut the door at night, night when we're ready to go to bed and lock it. Yeah, and then we don't have to go outside to go pee because we'll have our own bathroom. Okay. You've established that. Yeah. Okay. Who's going to come against me in Suck this group? It. No one. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would be like, I'm just living with Which you. one of those little bitches is going to come at me and be like, I get that room? Yeah. No. I don't think so. I'm over 30. I'm not sleeping on a couch. No. I don't think that was ever a uh, thing. Really? Because a couple of the beds were pull-out couches. Oh, well, and then what? Just not... you wake up in the morning and fold your shit back up so everybody can sit on it during the day? <laughs> and fart on it? <laughs> no thanks. Yeah. Anyway, I think it'll be fun since Scott sailed. It's in, what is it, June? Is it what it is? I hope it's, it's on the calendar. Harder than balls. Oh, yeah. No, don't worry about it. Uh, I go to her bachelorette party, and then like a week later, I go to Europe for like three weeks. So. Lots of working we're going to time. Europe for three weeks. Well, God willing, because this is the trip that we were supposed to take in 2020. Oh, that one still? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, God willing. Where are you going in Europe? Uh, I think we're going. So, I think we're flying to Greece, staying there for a few days, doing a 10 day cruise, and then going to Barcelona to meet my family for a few days, and then coming home. Wait, you're gone for three weeks? Maybe two and a half. Wow. It's going to be a lonely, lonely time without you. Yeah. What are we going to do? I don't know. How are we going to do TV set? We're going to have to do it on FaceTime oh. or Zoom. Yeah. I'm on the boat while it's rocking. And you're here. Just queer. Telecommute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh. So anyway, so God. that's that plan. And then her wedding's in October. Yep. In Mexico. In Mexico. Janelle and Spencer are trying to get me to go down to St. Thomas to go scouting for places with them in March. I was like, I don't think I can do that. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so or you can't? I don't think, I don't think so. The bandwidth or bandwidth. you just, okay. Bandwidth. <laughs> Colin and I no longer have bandwidth to deal with most people in our life. <laughs> so when it comes down to it, we just say, I don't have the bandwidth for this. Yeah. I just don't. I barely have the bandwidth for my own life. Yeah, ditto. I, I can't like. I just can't take on anybody else's shit. Yeah. I Except have my, for yours. My own mental stability to worry shit. about. You take my shit. And mm -hmm. I take your shit. Mm -hmm. Shit swappers. That's all we are. <laughs> shit swappers. Yeah. Here's you know, most of our shits from the same people. Shit. Yeah. And the same industry and you right. know we're just living the same similar life. Yeah, if you ever Where's thought your about husband by the way. At working. Well, here? Luke! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Not here. Okay. Well, I never know. He sometimes he's quiet as a little church mouse. Where so did he just they... sneaks out? <laughs> Isn't he usually home by now? What time is it? 3:42. In the a.m. because we're rock stars and we're awake because we're going to post this at 6 a.m. Oh, it posted this morning. I wonder how it's doing. Oh. I don't know. I don't have my other phone. Yeah. You can't check it? No, I have my other phone. You could probably check it. See how many Question. People. Do you think it's time to get rid of this earring? Okay, so Tavia has a, what do you call that? Cartilage pier piercing? Yeah, I guess. Is it cartilage or cartilage? Cartilage. 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 Okay. It's the upper flap of your ear that nobody likes to show. Sure. Do you think it's time? I have to show mine. Why? I don't know. It's actually... Why don't you put a diamond in it? That's always what I want to like do. Like a stud? Mm -hmm. Do we think that that's like a little I more mean, ghetto cute. than the hoop that I'm rocking? And by the way, by when I say hoop, it's not like a hoop hoop. It's like... It's dangling down to her shoulder. It's a baby hoop. It's like snug. But you know what? It's like starting snug. to fold when I sleep and it's hurting. What do you mean it's folding? It's like catching when I lay. Oh, well then take it out if it's okay. hurting. Also, have you seen the show on Netflix called... You just weigh it all over the place, aren't you? Yeah, because I feel like What's I have that? dryness. Okay. What show? You. No. So it's like a cross between Dexter meets Stalker. Have you been watching the new Dexter, by uh, the way? Yeah. It's Without over. me. It's oh, over. it's over? It's over. Mm, was it good? Uh-huh. As good as the regular season? Uh-uh. No. I mean, it was good, but... Like, what would you rate Dexter's regular season? Ten. And what would you rate this? Seven. Really? I mean, it's eight. Eight until the end. Seven. Okay. Seven, eight. All right. I was yeah. supposed to come over, Tavia said that I'd have to sneak through the back window. Yeah, because I really the, don't understand why, but... Because if the girls heard you, they'd come down. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so I had to come over, sneak through the back window, be absolutely silent. Wait, do you have Hulu? I do. Has the Kardashian started? No. Oh. I'm going to need that password. Because sure. Luke won't let me get it. That's fine. Okay. Why? He's so cheap that he steals the, the neighbor's Disney Plus. Oh, I they, I don't know what I got Hulu through. I think it was like through my Verizon plan or something. I don't know, but it's still on. I don't pay for it. I steal Spencer and Janelle's Netflix and Disney, uh, Plus. Disney Plus. Yep. And what else do I have? I don't know. I steal everybody else's. I don't pay for yeah, it. Yeah, so our neighbors were like, oh, do you have Disney Plus? And Luke's like, no, I don't want to pay for it. And he's like, oh, we can have a, like up to five accounts. Here's our information. And Luke's to this day I don't know if still... you're supposed to be saying this publicly. Um, They're going to come find you. Just kidding. If I didn't, wasn't stealing theirs, that's probably the one that I would keep. Disney Plus? Yeah, but it's $8 a month. <laughs> that's a big, that's like Starbucks and a donut. But I think that, I think that's the one that I would have. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? I, do, I don't know. I just like it. Sometimes I put on like a movie when I'm going to bed. And a Disney movie? Yeah. Just very light. I put on the Disney Channel when I'm at home alone. And I turn it on volume four, so it's recognizable that it's the TV and not somebody lurking. I feel like all girls have that weird, like, fear thing. Because Samantha does, like, has the same thing. Oh, <clears throat> my God. We only oh, have God. six minutes. I have to tell you what we did last night. Okay. Who's we? Luke and I. Okay. Straight up crazy. Is it Luke and I or Luke and me? Luke and I. I have no idea. It's an I. Is it? No, Anyways. When is it Luke and me? Never. Ever? I don't think so. Okay. So, last night... Luke walked into the front room and the lights are off and he's like, do you hear that car outside? It's got like a young teenager was driving it and the subwoofer's like, mm, 
<laughs> like rattling the car. And he comes and said, he goes, I think our neighbor has a sketchy ass boyfriend. <laughs> I was like, okay. He goes, his whole car is vibrating. I go, I dated a kid like that. And I married him. So I get it. <laughs> Luke Alvin had a car oh, like man, that. Oh man, he had like in his one car, he had like subwoofers in the trunk and he would like turn on and be like, like rattle the whole car. It was like, uh, I had a sketchy like boyfriend that. too. Right, the vibration. <laughs> Anyways, we see our neighbor <clears throat> outside. Okay. And she's like talking to her boyfriend and there's all the babysitter, right? Yeah. Oh no. But they're like canoodling, like oh, hugging. No. And so at one point I am on the ground in the, in the dining room, peeking through the blinds and Luke crawls <laughs> up beside me and he's peeking through the middle. And we, just, we narrated the whole thing. It was probably the funniest you, time of our life. Do you over 40? Yeah. Or 35. So oh. And, um, he I goes, I swore that was a 40. He goes, thing. I go, Luke, is this going to be us when our kids are outside? He goes, yeah, look at their upper window. See the curtains moving? Someone's up there watching them too. And I was like. <laughs> this is the highlight Anyways, of your life. They literally could not stop hugging each other and kissing each other. And I was they like, like each other. I know. I was like, Luke, remember the days I used to do that to you? Like hug you and kiss you. And then I just goosed him and, and got up. Same thing, right? Yeah. But they were like so in love. And then they were getting ready to drive away. And Luke's like. Did she get in the car? Did she go inside? We need to make sure she's okay. I was like, that's right. That's why we stalk our next doors because we got to make sure that she didn't get stolen. I don't even know if you're, if I'm capable of that kind of like liking of somebody at this point. I'm too, I'm too, like, I think that you have to be so young and fresh to be like, oh, like somebody that like much, they, right? she, you could just see her like, just like Light swoop up. up and just like giggle and they would kiss. This was like 930 at night. So like, why aren't we inside? But, <laughs> Why and it's cold outside, and we're, he was wearing short, short shorts, not short shorts, short, short shorts, really? like short, short shorts. Oh, is he attractive? I couldn't. It was dark. It was dark. Oh, okay. Like we were peeping. Like we had to turn all the lights off so they couldn't see. Us. Oh, <laughs> oh we gotta wrap it up soon. Anyways, she made it safely, and oh, she's obsessed God. with her boyfriend. I just dream of that love someday. You know, it brought me back to when I used to swoon over so my husband. So did you swoon over your husband then and give him a hug and kiss and just I go I goosed him because we were both on the ground <laughs> and his butt was closer to me. So I just gave him a little boop. And then I got up and got my water and he finally came back and was like, they left. Did like, you guys sit on the couch? Okay, so I think <laughs> I've talked about this before, but the way that they sit on the couch. These we love each night, other. They literally are on separate corners of this Because we like to lean into the, the, the arm. And I'm like, can you guys touch each other? And then Tavia will reach over and be like, there. With Is my that foot. good? With my Is foot. that good for you? With my foot. <clears throat> and then Luke rubs my foot. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's a nice trick. If I snuggled with my back, my feet would be at the opposite angle and I couldn't get rubbed. You don't lay your head in his lap? That's not comfortable. There's a belly and then his like, crotch dips in because he leans so far back. He hangs upside down like a bat. When he watches TV, like it's just. Well, at least you guys have the routine down. Did yeah. you hear that? What was that? What? Okay. I what think we're that? good. I don't know. Oh my God. Let's leave. <laughs> we got to wrap it up. Anyway. Yeah, there's a ghost. Um, Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're a little bit all over the place on this one, but when are we not? When are we not? We, we don't have the bandwidth to be on top of it, honestly. Yeah. Um, we'll keep you up to date on my wedding uh, bridesmaids dress fiasco. I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's a fiasco, but okay. Feels like a fiasco. Anyway, check us out Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. on YouTube, <laughs> Spotify, iTunes. We're there. And that, my friends, is how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> All right, you guys. Check you next week. Bye.